So I received this crashed Mavic drone from someone um, to repair it. I've already taken it apart because I was too curious before I turned on the camera. Um, actually, first I thought it would just be the shell. That's that's the upper shell it came with. Uh, obvious, obviously, it hit the back end and was cracked. So I got a replacement. But um, what I found out when I turned it on initially, before I took it apart, that the camera was just hanging loose. You would still have a picture, but it was just hanging around. And this is what he didn't tell me, or he didn't even know maybe. So I found out that actually this ribbon cable flex print cable uh, has a small rupture about here I don't know if you can see no it's here so and this is for the motors it's for the pitch motor yaw and roll so I ordered a new one and I want to install it right now or maybe for warm up I will install the GPS antenna in the new shell Oh yeah, should be this way. It didn't really click in there. Okay, that's better. Okay, now I have to get back to the camera. So I already took out the gimbal as you can see. Uh, the gimbal base has these four connectors that will go into. Um, yeah, two from the uh, stereo camera. And then these go down there somewhere to the main board. As you can see here, the, the ESC is actually one integrated board. Um, all right, let's get to the actual tricky part. Switch out the broken ribbon wire. Um, you have some small adhesive pads on there just take off all the covers then there are actually parts in the wire where you have to fold or bend it um, yeah it's made for tiny hands there must actually be people that are putting together these gimbals all day long I bet they are they have good practice and do this in a minute so this one is for the roll motor and has a little R on there and has to be fed through there and then you can click it into the connector Please, yes. Now this 
Sí. So folded end has to be has to go in there. This has to go in there. Please do the click. Okay, before I can continue with the ribbon cable, I will put the covers back on, little plastic covers, you will see when you take apart yours, that you will end up with some plastic covers. Next one is this one. Before you put it on, feed the wires, the tiny little wires. Transport the 4K video signal through there. Okay, last axis. Oh, right. Another folding job. Because this one has to go in there. It says P for pitch. Looks somewhat connected. And you see the little white line? I think it indicates where you bend it. So, bend it there. Bend it everywhere. The real sandwich. Let's put on the cover first. That's our video feed. Okay, so this just goes goes here. So I can 
I should have taken pictures when taking it apart, but I never do. I guess this feeds through here. Yes, looks good. Could be this one with the little with the thread starting down here because there are only two of these. Now we have to put it back onto this uh, let's call it base plate. I got it. So one thing uh, there's a tiny gap in the plastic. Make sure the ribbon cable goes through that tiny gap. Only then you will have the needed length of the cable to tilt in any direction, to tilt in both directions. Just like down here for the pen axis. This look right. It has to be. It has to be the right way. Oh, I forgot one thing. This little cover down here. Oh, one more screw. So this whole thing goes in here from underneath. If you thought this was a tiny plug, well, now you know. Okay, looks all right. We're getting crazy close to the finish here. By the way, I think all the Phillips head screws are inside of the shell. And on the outside, you only have the Allen key. Some small size, I don't know which one. So, GPS antenna, we already fixed that. Goes in here. Oh, and it's interesting, they have a, uh, the gyro accelerometer board is in the front here. And maybe it has to do with the camera. Maybe they want to have it close to the camera. I just made it up, but maybe it's true. Okay.
I like this sound. Okay, the upper shell is clicked back in, so I can put in the easy screws. So the upper shell is clicked in. I screw back in the easy screws here. These two on the bottom, this one, that one, these two. And now I have two shorter ones left. And those are just for the cover. Done. Let's do a test. Be crazy if this actually worked. Please. Yes, it worked. Okay, now it's time for a test flight. Let's see if the gimbal fully works again. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Maybe the roll axis is a little bit tilted. I could actually uh, adjust this. Okay. Looks all right. Looks good so far. I'm happy.